teach at Grenada High School, 11th and 12th grade. I went to college at Hines Community College in Raymond my first year. I went to the Pearl Campus my second year. Southern Miss, junior, senior year, and then I earned my master's degree at Ole Miss. Well, I started majoring in cytotechnology, which is the study of cells. I love research, but I didn't want, I wanted the money that came out of medical, the medical field. But I quickly learned that I don't like medicine. So I, w I knew I was supposed to be a teacher. I followed it for a while. I came to Grenada High School to teach my fourth year after I moved here to Grenada, after I was married. I taught at Charleston the first four years, and uh, the summer of 2004, I got a phone call who's from a friend who said, we have an opening, are you interested? I said, yes. If I could teach anything besides English, I would love to teach history. I love history, I love the stories. I think I could make it come alive, I think it'd be fun. If another job opportunity came along, I'm not sure I'd be able to leave where I am right now. I really love it here. I love my students. I like that my kid is at the same school and until she graduates, this is where I want to be close enough that I can snatch her when I need to. My students keep my job exciting. They are my purpose. I love them so much I can't stand it. It's ridiculous. I can't wait to see them every day and I know that that is stupid and cheesy and I don't care. It's my favorite thing about work. I love being around my students. My name is Corey Lucius. I'm a math teacher here at Grenada High School. I've been teaching for 17 years, 10 years here at Grenada High School. Um, I'm nationally board certified. I have a specialist degree in administration and supervision, and I have two daughters, Alexa, who is 18 and attends Ole Miss, and Elle, who is 11, and she attends Grenada Upper Elementary School. In five years, I still want to be teaching. I hope to have my doctorate degree in teaching. So in five years, I still see myself being an educator, doing the same thing I'm doing right now. In Ms. Lucia's class, we take a lot of notes, and she helps us get prepared for the ACT and, you know, for freshmen or, you know, other people that have to take the state test. <laughs> my teaching style is very um, I do uh, teach with direct instruction, but I also demonstrate and I'm also a facilitator of students on learning. So it's a hybrid, it's a, um, a varied technique. When I first saw Ms. Lucius on my schedule, I mean, both of my brothers had Ms. Lucius, so I thought that she was going to be a good, reliable teacher. When I was in school, I was always picked as the teacher's helper, so that always played in the back of my mind that that was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to help students. I wanted to help others. Um, I think after spending a year in my class that most of my students would definitely say they've become better problem solvers. They've learned how to think critically and reason. When I found out that Miss Lish was my geometry teacher, I was kind of happy because, you know, I heard she was a good teacher. Um, mathematics seems to be a subject that a lot of kids struggle with. So it's always good to know that I can help them and I can see them have success in mathematics. Um, I want my students to remember that there's always something they can be successful at. Um, and it's okay to fail. You're not always going to be right. You're going to make mistakes and that's part of the learning process. I think as teachers, we absolutely love our, our students. I know I do. If I didn't, I wouldn't do this job. So yes, I do love my students. Uh, my name is Marilyn Junkin. I am from Grenada, Mississippi, and I teach at the high school I went to. When I was graduating high school, I ironically was and told myself I would never be a teacher. I didn't think it was a good enough profession. I made too good grades. So I wanted to go on to be engineering or accounting or something big. And then about a little bit into grad school, I got the calling to be a teacher, and I answered. And now here I am. If I could do something different. I think I would still teach. I don't think I would teach high school forever. I really would like to get back into university, but once, now that I'm here, I can't see myself doing anything else. When I was in high school, it wasn't a question if you got an A or not. Um, it wasn't a question if you were gonna be on the honor roll. It wasn't a question if you were gonna be on the president's list. It wasn't a question if you were gonna be on the principal's list. It was just a given. 
I like to think the impact I have on them is something that they can achieve, something they think is impossible. A lot of people, like I said, are just scared of math and they don't think they can do it. And I hope that I can show them that anything's possible and that you can learn it. Outside of school, I'm really into health and fitness. It's a big priority of mine, is making it in the gym and to be eating right and to keep my body and just as healthy as I can make it because I plan to live to be 100. I love teaching way more than I ever thought I would. Um, I love the math, but now that I've gotten here and the kids and the environment and working with teachers that I used to um, have as teachers myself when I lived here and having the same principal, and it just brings me this, this joy every day that I didn't say. I feel I see math in a very special way. It's something I've always been good at. It's something that I love. It's a passion of mine, and I want to be able to convey that to students. I want to be able to let them feel the joy that I feel and to let them know that they can do it. Anyone can learn math. Everyone's a little different. Sometimes it may take longer, but it's just like a skill or a sport or an instrument you play. It's something that can be learned, and I think I possess a way that I can show it clearly so people can get it and they can stop being scared of it. I'm CJ Hodges, um, from Granada, Mississippi. I am here at Granada High School, coaching baseball and teaching history. This is my first year, and uh, looking forward to it. Um, Granada High School gave me a job opportunity to um, coach baseball and uh, be a 10th grade history teacher. And I was already living here, so kind of made my mind up very easy. Whatever they said. They give them a job. What were they doing all this for? To get what? Money, Money and both. Both. They were trying to get both, right? Good. My teaching style would probably be visual learning. I'd like to show them as well as discussion. We have a lot of discussions in my class. You know what I noticed? Look at the axe. What was this for? Yes, me. Probably protection too, right? I started my college career at Edelman Community College. Went two years there, got my bachelor's, then I went two years at Mississippi College State University. And as I was at Valley, I ended up becoming a pitcher only. So it helped me to want to help other people because I had a lot of time on my hands, so that really made me want to be a coach. Because it's true, I need it, I need it. Somebody explain why. I'm Amanda Alston. I've been a teacher at Grenada High School for two years now. Um, I've been teaching for only two years. Uh, I went to Mississippi State University. I went to Holmes Community College in Grenada as well as Ole Miss in Grenada. I teach Zoology 1, Zoology 2, Prebiology, Mississippi Studies, and World Geography. A student taught at Coffeeville and Water Valley uh, in Winona and then eventually Grenada at the Upper Elementary. Um, I was student taught in first, third, and fifth grade and I quickly learned that I am not supposed to be an elementary teacher. Um, my sarcastic humor does not fit with them and I made too many students cry. Uh, so I, I really learned my place in um, what my niche would be as a teacher. Like I never planned on being a teacher. I uh, was in vet school at Mississippi State. I was accepted into the early entry veterinary program there. And my options for a degree were a general or a um, law enforcement or elementary education degree. And so I sell them. Uh, settled on elementary education after praying about it a while and I honestly was not content with that at any point until I finally became a teacher. The thing that I think I'm best at as a teacher is connecting with my students. I think that part of that comes from being open and honest with them and being able to admit that you have flaws, that you've made mistakes, that um, some days I come into school and I tell my students they got to hold on because I got to swipe some deodorant under my arms. Like just them realizing that I'm a person and I don't have my life together all the time just like they don't and that's okay and how to handle those situations. Um, I, I try to keep an open-minded classroom. I try to force worldview uh, so that we don't have a narrow-minded aspect of whatever it is that we're learning about. Um, I encourage 
uh, discussion as opposed to just lecture. Um, whenever I teach something, I, I want to tell them the information and then us be able to talk about it and figure out what our confusion is um, and then put it on a global perspective of why this is an important uh, piece of information and how we can understand it better by comparing it to things that we already know. Behavior problems, I believe most of the time should be handled in-house, meaning that I want to handle problems between me and my students. Just being honest and upfront is the best way to handle any kind of behavior issue. Coach Ray, teach ninth grade world geography and Mississippi studies. Uh, I've been teaching and coaching at GHS since my 12th, 12th year coaching here and teaching, of course. Uh, I've coached football for 12 years. I coached uh, high school baseball for seven, and I'm on my fourth year of fast pitch softball here at Grenada High School Coaching. I'm the offensive line coach for the high school football team, coach the offensive line. Softball, I coach all of it. You know, it's just, a, you know, fewer coaches, so you coach all the positions pretty much. I coached at Eupora High School where I'm from originally uh, while I was in college. I coached there for four years. Uh, then I moved here to Grenada, started coaching and teaching. And I went to Holmes Community College, played offensive line, uh, was there for two years. Then I transferred to Ole Miss, then went there a year and then transferred and graduated from Mississippi State. What brought me here to Grenada? Uh, of course, finished college looking for a job and had a couple offers. Happened to be dating a girl from Grenada. Uh, took the job here and been here ever since. Married her now. All right, my family, uh, I've been married for 10 years. Uh, have one five year old son who is a kindergartner at Grenada Elementary School, and I have twin boys due any day. Did I originally start? my plan to be a teacher. Yes, uh, from probably eighth grade, ninth grade on, I knew I wanted to be a uh, teacher and what I've been doing ever since. If I had to choose another class, I probably wouldn't choose another class. I enjoy history. I've always enjoyed history from early age. Uh, probably my, it's my favorite class to teach. Probably one of the most fulfilling things about teaching is seeing the growth of students, seeing how they develop, really how they mature. You know, teaching ninth grade, I see a lot of maturity from students from the middle of the year. And I think that's probably one of my favorite things about it, seeing them grow. <laughs> we good? I'm Royce Foster. I go by Coach Foster or Coach Chip. I teach AP, U.S. History. Regular U.S. history, I coach the defense on the high school football team and also do boys powerlifting. I went to college at the University of Southern Mississippi for about three and a half years. I took some classes at Northwest Community College in Sanatobia uh, during the summers. And then I actually transferred and graduated from the University of Memphis. I did originally go to school to be a teacher. I, may, I was majoring in uh, history and minoring in believe coaching administration, sports administration. And when I switched to the University of Memphis, I changed that and switched into marketing. So I, I did start out, but then it changed from that. I have been teaching uh, 17 years. And my favorite part about teaching is the interaction with the students. Uh, you get a, a wide variety of different types of personalities and it makes things interesting um, and complicated sometimes, but that's by far the best part. I try to stay away from lecture for more than like five or 10 minutes, and I try to use group work, group and centers, uh, and I try to get the students involved with each other and, and collaborate on uh, most of my information, and that's in all classes. Uh, the challenges with teaching now that have, that, and this has evolved from when I started teaching was that uh, there's so much more going on with students. Um, you know, everything's at the tip of their fingers. Uh, so it's very challenging to keep them attentive and to try to keep them focused in on what's actually um, going on in your class and, and the importance of it because of um, they've evolved like most of us. So, okay, my teaching style 
is a little bit different than other teachers because I'm, it's not, I don't use a lot of energy, but I, I change my tone a lot. And um, I do things to keep kids' attention, like various things. Um, but what I try to do is I try to have fun in class as much as possible. And by having fun, usually the kids, you know, um, seem to enjoy it. There's a fine line, though, to where when they want to get out of control or, you know, they kind of get talking and things like that. But, I mean, it's taken me a long time to figure out how to maneuver my way through teaching a day with, you know, not, I'm not saying not um, normal methods, but kind of abnormal methods. <laughs>